So game one, if you missed it, ended with a 116 to 108 finish. We took a huge W to set the tone for this NBA final series here in season one. A little bit touching on the box score. Clay Thompson was our top scorer with 32 points, five rebounds, four assists, three steals on 10 for 19 from three. Damian Lillard, our second top scorer with 31 and 17 assists. Yeah, you heard that right. Seven assists and then Norman Powell with 24 and Clint Capella with a triple double with 22 points 27 rebounds and 11 blocks outside of that there wasn't a player who scored over three points two players with 30 and two players with 20 and that pretty much sealed the deal those four players combined for a little over 100 points and then Co Robert Covington with three Onyeka with two and DeMarcus Cousins with two and then Grayson Allen in five minutes with zero points and then I need to give credit where credit is due Giannis Antetokounmpo for the Milwaukee Bucks dropped 36 18 four assists a steal and a block on 17 for 29 from the field all right recap done let's get into the episode hope you all enjoy Got a cardi on me poppin' when I shoot, I never miss She gon' ask if I'm in love, I never lie, I plead the fifth Only want me cause I'm icy and I'm pricey with the fifth Okay, so welcome back to another episode of the Portland Trailblazers My League on the channel But before I do get started, as always if you enjoy, only if you enjoy, make sure you show some love down below. It's free. It only helps our little community here grow. If you don't enjoy, like I always say, make sure to you tell me down below what I could do better. Because that's the only thing that makes me better is your guys' criticism. So let's go. So game one, if you missed it, I know I recapped in the intro, but this is the box score for it. Clay Thompson, 32 points, five rebounds, four assists, three steals. He he showed up. He showed us something we already knew, which Clay Thompson was that guy in the postseason. Damian Lillard, 31 and 17. Obviously, he had 17 assists to Clay Thompson and Clint Capella and Norman Powell, obviously, with 24. And then Clint Capella with 22, 27, and 11 blocks. That triple double is absolutely ridiculous. Robert Covington put in work on Giannis. Obviously, it's kind of hard to stop Giannis, but two steals and three blocks with being the primary defender on Giannis onto the Kumpo. Uh, Onyeka Okongu played some decent minutes with uh, two. Two points, three rebounds, three rebounds, and two blocks. Really, we went six deep, but we played technically eight because two players with five minutes. Demarcus Cousins put in some work in five minutes, two for a steal and two blocks. And then Grayson Allen didn't do too much. 0 for one, a rebound and an assist and a steal. And then Giannis was the big performer for the Milwaukee Bucks. 36, 18, four assists, a steal and a block. Obviously, it's really hard to limit Giannis because he's just he's a physical specimen, but. We did what we could. And then Bobby Portis with 16, um, 16 points. Giannis is, was the only player who scored over 20 points for the Bucks. That's wild. All right. So I, literally, I go over my starting five every episode, even though it rarely changes. But this is the starting five. Dame, Clay, Norm, Rocco, and then Clint Capella. We got Anthony Simons, Onyeko, Kongwu, Grayson Allen, and DeMarcus Cousins, both apparently on fire even though they didn't play too much in game one and then tony snell getting some minutes Otto porter also might get a look today who knows all right so i don't really got much else to say it's our last home game until game five so we got to make it count we got the kombucha on deck focus gingerade flavor we got the what i'm out of water damn and we got the decaf coffee because i gotta be asleep in approximately two and a half hours so we gotta have decaf so i can you know fall the fuck asleep all right without further ado milwaukee bucks portland trailblazers in portland oh i pressed b on accident we got like i said we gotta make this last home game until game five count because we're going to milwaukee after this and the milwaukee bucks last year they went down 2-0 in the eastern Conf not the eastern conference finals in the second round against the nets and in this in the finals against the suns and you know what happened they were undefeated at home and won both of those series so the Bucks at home in the playoffs are lethal, so we got to take care of business when we're at home so we don't, you know, flip-flop the series. We're going to rock our statement jerseys. I kind of want the Bucks to rock their City Edition jerseys because they are just so beautiful, bro. They're just so beautiful. Okay, let's get right into it. This is the NBA Finals Game 2. The Milwaukee Bucks, fighting for their first win of the series, will try to even the score at 1-1. One as they go up against the Trailblazers. The NBA postseason, coming up next. We are on the biggest stage in professional basketball, the NBA Finals. All right, so before I get into this game, I do want to address this comment. Um, 
he asked me to start a New York Knicks, New York Knicks My League, where in specific I build a big three in New York. Now I'm I love the idea, and I'm gonna start it on Friday. I'm gonna record that video Wednesday, but I, I did back to back Outlaws videos, so I have to get a Blazers video out. But this means that you guys are gonna get one video from each My League every single week: one Monday, one Wednesday, one Friday. It'll probably be like Outlaws Monday. Um, Blazers Wednesday and then Knicks Friday. Not too sure. Be on the lookout for that Knicks My League coming soon as requested by that loyal viewer. Oh my god, this man Drew Holiday is a lockdown. It's um, I'm telling myself stuff I already knew, but that man is locking us up. Roko with a block on Drew Holiday. But bro, Drew, Drew Holiday is that guy. And the fact that they have Dante DiVincenzo defending Damian Lillard is absolutely wild. Come on. Oh, Dame. Dame for three. He opens up the scoring in game two. We're on the board. Dame. Wow. Dame blows by Drew Holiday and throws it down. We're I'm surprised Dame is able to get past Drew Holiday. Because this man, Drew Holiday, if you watched game one, you know Drew Holiday made it tough for Damian Lillard to move whatsoever. So we had to rely a lot on set plays. Drew Holiday obviously not defending as well he was as he was in game one. Oh my god, Tay's wide open. Okay, we back. We back. Obviously, Drew not defending as well in game one. Middleton answers. But we're going to try to exploit that. Come on. Giannis leaves Roko at the hash. Roko drains a full white. Giannis decides to help on the Damian Lillard Drew Holiday ISO. He finds Robert Covington wide open. He gets it to go. Giannis goes right at Covington. Cannot get the layup to go. Damian Lillard and oh Norman Powell cannot get Portis to jump. Dame. Why am I commentating the whole possession? I don't do that that often. Drew Holiday defending Dame pretty well. Okay, they're doubling. Oh my God, they're doubling Dame already. <laughs> The Bucks going on a little bit of a run here. Dante DiVincenzo wide open in the corner. Cuts our lead down to three. The Bucks looking to be heating up here in this uh, first quarter. We're posting up Drew Holiday. They're doubling Norman Powell. Ah, we have a mismatch somewhere. We have a mismatch somewhere. Portis fouls. Clay from deep. Extends our lead back up to six. For whatever reason, they're doubling Dame already. He only has five and three in this first quarter. Nonetheless, we lead by six. Giannis in transition. Oh, he finds Tay in the corner. Giannis passes it up in transition. Tay gets the pull up. Midi to go. Cuts our lead down to four here with five and a half to play in the first. They're bringing their bench in. Larry Nance, Pat Connaughton, and Nick, Nick, Nicholas Claxton checking in for the Bucks. We're posting up. Oh, Norm open in the corner. They leave Roko. Ro ah, didn't rotate. Didn't rotate. That's tough. Tough possession. Five to play in this first quarter of game two. Defense chance rumbling throughout the building. Chris Middleton silences the crowd with a three-pointer at the top of the key. Cuts our lead down to one. Come on. Ah, Giannis with the defensive rotation leaves us with 1.7 seconds left on the shot clock. That was just a phenomenal rotation by the Bucks. I thought I had a wide open three with Robert Covington, but obviously Giannis got there. Capella. We went on an offensive drought there, but Capella gets it back up. I didn't know he was leading the league in uh, rebounds per game, but Capella gives us that little spark of offense we needed after a long drought. Love to see the big man getting involved. What a block by Capella into Clay Thompson. What a sequence of events. Oh, what a play. What a come on, Capella. Dame on the glass? Oh, wow. Oh my god, Capella. Oh my god, Capella. Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson, our top scorer with eight points on game two. Clay Thompson picking up right where he left off. Gives us a four point lead with a minute to play in the first quarter. Defense chance rumbling through the building. Capella with a block on Hill. Dame in transition. I'm going to try to keep this going. Dame defended by George Hill. We're calling ISO. You know the deal. You know the deal. Snatchback. Dame for three. 
Come on now. Come on now. Even with these Beyond Hall of Fame sliders, we are dominating. Norman Powell, we had we went on a crazy offensive drought, but we are heating up once again as the first quarter begins to expire. A little over shot clock to play here. I believe it's like a six second difference between the shot and game clock. George Hill, oh my God, blocked by Capella. All right, first quarter is winding down. Ten seconds to play in the first quarter. Dame snatch back on George Hill. Damian Lillard again. He's our first player in double digits. 11, 4, and 5 in the first quarter for Damian Lillard. As he gives us the first double... Or no, it's not the first double-digit lead of, a game, of the game, but he gives us a double-digit lead. George Hill at the buzzer. Cuts our lead down to 9. We go into the second with a healthy 9-point lead. Oh my god, Dame. Dame breaks George Hill. Bang! Play Thompson getting in the off the dribble action against Pat Connaughton. We are giving this Bucks bench lineup hell. Clay and Dame both in double digits for the Blazers. That is beautiful. This man Capella, this man Capella is wild. Wow. Oh my God, Giannis blocked by Capella. We are locking this Bucks team up, bro. I've queued, I've queued Anthony Simons, Grayson Allen, and um. And uh, DeMarcus Cousins for a substitute. Capella with a mismatch on Larry Nance down low. Come on, Capella. Oh, my God. Capella got ripped by Drew Holiday and then Larry Nance on back-to-back -back possessions. Covington blocks. Oh, my God. Covington blocks the alley-oop attempt. Come on, Capella. Capella, do not get ripped this time. Capella! Norman Powell gets a full white to go off of the floppy. Come on! We're slowly putting this game more and more out of reach. That's a 17-point Blazers lead. You love to fucking see it. Giannis cuts it down to 15. But we're slowly running away with game two here at home. This man, Drew Holiday. This man, Drew Holiday. Grayson Allen chased down and he passes off to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo cuts our lead down to 11. The starter's going to check back in again. Dame, Clay, and Capella. As soon as Dame, Clay, and Capella left the floor, the Bucks started making a comeback. Giannis follows Anthony Simons on the drive. Giannis picks up his third. That could come back to help us. Oh, Clay rips DiVincenzo. Clay rips Dante. Clay stops in transition from. Oh, he had that animation like he got. A, he had that green animation on a full white. I thought Clay drained it from the logo. I was about to go ballistic. Four for 11 from the field. Clay's not having the best game in the world. Bobby Portis cuts our lead down to single digits. The Bucks on an 11 to 3 run. Norman. Norman answers the Bucks' run. Norman Powell with nine points and seven rebounds in the first half. Norman Powell is hooping. Bro, Robert Covington has been so good against Giannis. Ooh, Clay Thompson. Ah, oh, that's a horrendous release. Uh, ah. The Bucks cut our lead down to eight. We've been 46% from the field so far. This game absolutely ridiculous from us. We got to be better. Norman Powell wide open at the wing. Come on, Norm. Come on, Norm. We're back into a double-digit lead. Timeout, Milwaukee.
Damian Lillard drains the triple with George Hill on the floor. I got to take advantage of that matchup. The only reason I haven't really been able to ISO with uh, Damian Lillard is because of Drew Holiday. George Hill fell by Capella. But the only reason I haven't been able to ISO with Dame is because of Drew Holiday. And now George Hill is on the floor. So we got to let Dame cook. They continue to leave Norman Powell wide open because they're doubling Damian Lillard. I get Damian has 17, 5 rebounds, and 7 assists. But there's no there's no excuse for leaving Damian or leaving Norman Powell or Clay Thompson open at all. Doubling Dame is cool, but at least like sag off on like Clint Capella, not Norman Powell or Clay Thompson. Connaughton gives the Bucks a spark off the bench, cutting our lead down to 13 with a minute to play in this first half. We got to take advantage of this bench lineup being out there. They're doubling Damian Lillard whenever they can like they are right now, but they're leaving. Oh, Rocco. Get it to Rocco. Got to make that extra pass quicker. Da uh, Jesus, Clay. Okay. They Why? Why logically does that make sense? Norman again, he has 24 first half points. We have a 16 point lead here in Portland. Norman Powell in takeover is surely helping out a ton. But the, the fact that they're leaving him open is mind boggling. It's crazy. A guy like Norman Powell should never be left open because he is going to he's going to dog you for that reason. Bobby Portis answers. Bro, the Bucks keep trying to lob it up to Giannis, but we just keep finessing that shit. And Norman Powell open again in the corner. Bang! 16-point Blazers lead in game two. I might have to turn up the fine or the sliders to make this NBA Finals interesting. Cause blowouts, while they're fun to play in, I don't think it's fun for y'all to watch me blow out the Bucks in the NBA fucking finals. And one Capella gets Portis in the air, jumps into him, gets the lay to go anyway. Come on, Capella. 16-point Blazers lead with a chance to make it 17. Let's go. For whatever reason, Dame's wide open. For whatever reason, Damian Lillard's wide open at the hash. Why does that make sense? It doesn't. It flat out doesn't. It doesn't whatsoever. Leaving Damian Lillard open when he has 25 and 9 mans on triple double watch is absolutely blasphemous. Oh my god, Larry Nance. Clay Thompson in the Ah, that's a good rotation by DiVincenzo. Where are you going, Dame? Where are you going, my man? This man Clay is on a cold ring right now. This man Clay is on a cold ring. I know I haven't showed much of Clay missing. But that's why. Clay's on a cold ring right now. They got Norman Powell running the floppy, which is fine. Norm has 30. But Clay's on a cold ring, which is wild. Oh, bro, Drew Holiday is toxic. Drew Holiday is toxic in them passing lanes. I can't lie. Drew has been wild. Roko for three. Got knocks it down. 15 point. Blazers lead. Dame on triple double watch 27 and 11 for him within three quarters. Love to see Dame showing out. This man, Clay Thompson, has been putting in a finals MVP, uh, a finals MVP bid and a finals MVP caliber NBA finals after game one. But Dame taking that throw. He's he's staking his claim on the trophy. Dame for three. Dame for three. We are about to go up 20 in the NBA Finals. An 18-point Blazers lead. We are almost up 20. What a defensive possession. What a defensive possession by the Blazers. The Bucks looking helpless out there right now. Damian Lillard defended by DiVincenzo. Oh, we got Capella with him. 
Ah! Roko chase down. Roko chase down. This game is almost over. Clay Thompson wide open in the corner. Clay to break the cold ring. He can't break his cold ring. Here, bro, Clay a 20% contested three to get off his cold ring. 2K, come on, bro. Come on, bro. 19 point Blazers lead with two minutes to play here in the third. We've held Giannis to 14 points so far in game two, bro. 14 points. Now that is ridiculous. Norman Powell open again in the corner. That makes it a 20 point lead. Norman Powell with his 10th three pointer of the game, giving us a 20 point lead under a minute to play in the third. And this man, Norman Powell, is only going to keep feasting. Let's go, Blazers. Bro, we're locking Giannis up. We're locking Giannis up. Oh my God. Dame 16% contested three. That lucky number seven badge kicking in. This game is wraps. Bro, the commentator just said he should be playing this game with an apron on because he is cooking right now. I ain't never hold, I ain't never heard a more true statement. Never heard a more true statement. This man, Dame, is cooking. Norman Powell again, his 11th triple of the game. We get another stop on Giannis. At the buzzer, Dame at the buzzer, dump it off to Norm in the corner. Ah, that's bad. That's bad. Okay, end of three, we lead by 26. Let's finish this one out. The Bucks got their gave up lineup out there. So we're going to put out our lineup like we gave up. Anthony Simons, Grayson Allen, Tony Snell, Onyeka Okongwu, and DeMarcus Cousins going to go out there for us. You know what? No, nah, we're going to we're going to have that lineup. The Bucks basically gave up. The Bucks basically gave up. It's a 26 point deficit. We're going to get the starters up and out of there. We're going to close this one out. I know the game's over, but on Yeko Kongu putting the moose on Shemi. That's kind of satisfying. I ain't going to lie. All right, so I'm going to welcome you guys back into the video. As this game winds down, we close out game two with a 130-93 victory. An absolute demolition job here in Portland. I'm not going to get cocky because we still have to go to Milwaukee and take care of business at the Fiserv Forum, where the Bucks have been notoriously good in the postseason. So we have to go to Milwaukee, and we have to win two games at the Pfizer Forum. Technically, we don't have to because, you know, we have home court advantage. But we I ideally want to take care of business as soon as possible. Oh, you're doubling Dame with the game over? Grayson, drain that. Ah, uh, come on, Grayson. Come on, Grayson. 35-point victory in game two. Demolition. We have the momentum going on the road. Two more. And we're NBA champs, baby. All right, we got the box score here. Norman Powell ends as our top score with 33 and 7 on 11 for 19 from the field. This man, Norman Powell, could not miss tonight. Damian Lillard, 26, 8, and 13 with a steal on five turnovers nonetheless, but that is a great showing from him. 9 for 19 from the field. Klay Thompson, 22, 5, and 5, and a steal, not great efficiency whatsoever. Nonetheless, he scored what he had to score. Clint Capella, let me tell you. This man, Clint Capella, 15, 16, and eight blocks. This man, I want to find out what the record for most blocks in a playoff series is because Capella is going to break it. He has 19 in two games. Man is on one. Robert Covington, 8, 11, and four blocks. Onyeko with eight. Anthony Simons with five and five assists. Demarcus Cousins with five, seven, and two blocks. Tony Snow with five points. And then our lowest score, not who actually got some minutes, is Grayson Allen with three and three. And then we look at the Bucks side of things. Giannis, the top scorer, with 18 and 17 on nine for 23 from the field. We clamped Giannis up. Bobby Portis with 14. And then Tay with 12. And Larry Nance with 10. Drew Holiday with nine. And Chris Middleton with nine as well. We lock the Bucks up as we win by 35. That's huge. All right. I think that's going to wrap this one up. I don't got much else to say. If you enjoyed, as always, make sure you show some love down below. It's free. It only helps our community grow. If you didn't, make sure you tell me what I can do better down below. And look out for the next series coming Friday. I'm excited to go to the Mecca. Peace.